I have put out hours and hours worth of organization videos here on my channel, sharing all of my small space organization tips along the way. Today, I'm sharing an overview of a bunch of my favorite small space organization ideas that I have come up with, and they're all in one quick video. This is for all of you who don't wanna watch a project start to finish, and you're just looking for quick ideas for your kitchen, your bathroom, your entryway, your bedroom. We're covering so many areas in this video today. I will have any products shown that I'm able to find linked in my description box below for you to shop. I hope you enjoy this video and it helps you organize your small space. My first tip is for your bathroom. If you have a small bathroom, but you have a thin space that you're not currently utilizing, this rolling cart is perfect. I always say to utilize the vertical space in a small room. So with this rolling cart, you're able to stack things up on shelves and pull it out as needed. They come in a variety of different sizes. So depending on your space, you could get one with only two shelves or one with I think up to four shelves and it just tucks away nicely for whenever you need to use it. I have done a whole bunch of different spice organization ideas on my channel, so I'm going to share a couple of my favorite ones in this video. The first one being a decorative shelf to store them. I cut up two pieces of wood, sanded them down and stained them, and used my Cricut to customize labels for everything. If you don't have a Cricut, you could just order labels on Etsy, but I just think the custom labels take this from a bunch of spices to almost a pretty piece of decor. This is totally customizable too, so if you have a large collection of spices, you would just need to build a larger shelf than I did here. But by doing this and storing my spices on my counter, they were easy to access and didn't take up any valuable space in a drawer or a cabinet. If you have a slim cabinet that you just don't know what to do with, I would suggest hooks that stick to the top of your shelf. And I used that for just hanging dangerous cooking tools that I didn't want my toddler to be able to reach. But you could also use these to hang coffee mugs if you wanted to, and that would just bring them up off of the shelf and give you more storage space beneath them. I also like using dividers to divide out a cabinet like this, and that just helps to compartmentalize the space and make it easier to find what you need without digging through the cabinet. Under the sink can be so tricky and I've organized and reorganized mine so many times, but I found that these shelves you can customize to fit around your plumbing worked the best for me. They help you utilize as much vertical space as possible. I also love to use stackable drawers for under my sink. One I'll use to store extra sponges or baking soda and maybe one to store cleaning cloths. You can obviously put whatever you want or need to in them, but it's nice to be able to slide a drawer out and reach for whatever you need without fumbling around trying to find something that you can't see. For baking related items like cupcake pans or cooling racks, I love this adjustable bakeware rack. You can easily remove the metal dividers and put them wherever you need to make your items fit. It's sturdy and it makes it easy for you to see exactly what you have and access whatever you need as you need it without any trouble. I used to have to sift through my assortment of bakeware and it would always end up being such a big mess by the time I found what I was looking for. But by organizing them this way, you can just see everything that you have and it makes it look a little bit nicer and makes your life just a little bit easier too.
Another thing that I like to do in my small spaces is utilize door space. So you're going to see me do this quite a bit. For example, this is an over the door organizer and I used it to store my cutting boards. You can command strip this right on. That's what I did. Or it does come with hooks to hang over the cabinet door if you just prefer to do that. Either way, it's renter friendly. Another thing that I've done on the inside of this cabinet door was put a magazine organizer on my cabinet door, again using just command strips. And I used that to store things like Ziploc bags and tin foil and cling wrap. Using the inside of your doors is just such an easy way to add storage space and free up space in your cabinets or your drawers for other items. Another spice organization idea that I love is this Joseph Joseph cabinet spice organizer. It hooks to the top of your cabinet and serves as like a little drawer that pulls down when you need it. I think this is so great and it utilizes space that may otherwise not serve a purpose in your kitchen. This is of course only helpful if you have a small collection of spices, but it's one of my all-time favorite ideas and what honestly got me really into creating small space organization videos, so I had to include it here. This next idea is for your lids to your pots and pans. These lid organizers just stick to the inside of your cabinet doors and they can accommodate a variety of different sizes of lids. Once again, I just love taking things out of cabinets and utilizing a space that otherwise just wouldn't be used for anything. These were quite sturdy and they worked well for me in my apartment and they are renter friendly since these just stick right onto the door and no drilling is required. And I'm happy to report that when I did eventually remove these, there was no damage to the inside of the doors. I went from living in a home with a big pantry to living in an apartment with no pantry. So storing food in cabinets was very foreign to me and I had to get creative. At one point I had a closet made pantry cabinet which worked great but I eventually upgraded and bought a bigger cabinet from Ikea. This one had open shelving up top so I used that to decant and store my pantry items like flour, sugar, and rice, among a bunch of other things. You can make this look super pretty and have it function for you at the same time. And the bottom portion of this cabinet had plenty of space for me to store all of our other pantry items and keep them out of sight and out of our kitchen cabinets. A freestanding pantry cabinet for me is one of the top ways to organize a small space, especially if you're a renter. If you have a small kitchen, Joseph Joseph sells a cutlery organizer that helps you to stack your cutlery so you can store a full set in half the space. We loved this in our apartment and it definitely helped to free up space for other items. These containers stick right underneath your shelf. I remember finding these and thinking they were just the neatest thing. These are perfect for inside of your pantry, or in my case, inside my pantry cabinet, again, using that vertical space.
If you have a very small bedroom, I would suggest removing the doors off of your closet to try and expand your bedroom space and make that kind of a part of the bedroom. Now, in order to also have some space for organization, we use this closet to build a closet system that we purchased from Modular Closets, and this added a whole bunch of drawer space and cabinet space while also still opening up the room. To get the same effect, you could just put a dresser in your closet and then use the rest of the space as living space, and it just feels like the room is a little bit bigger, but you're not losing storage. I love this turntable that I got from the container store. You can customize it so you can take out the plastic dividers and move them wherever you need to. I use mine to store things that we need in our entryway, so sunscreen, bug spray, lint rollers, things of that nature, and I put it right into our entryway cabinet. And it's perfect for grabbing things when we need them on the go, but this turntable could be used for literally anything. It would be perfect in your pantry, be perfect in your bathroom, or under your sink. If you live in a home without a coat closet, I would suggest obtaining a piece of furniture. It does not need to be expensive. That will provide a lot of storage space. This sideboard I got from Article. It's been in my entryway for years now, both in my apartment and in my current house. And it's really helped us to organize things that we need when we're headed out the door and keep them out of sight like hats, sunscreen. At one point, I stored some of my toddler's shoes in there. I also built a shelf with my dad that I was able to use to hang up our coats. This idea obviously requires more legwork and potentially more spending, but I thought I would include it here anyway because it was one of my favorite organization projects. This is another entryway project that we did in our house and I figured that I would include it in here in case you guys need some more ideas for that space. So we, of course, like utilizing bins for things like our hats, masks, unfortunately, we still need those, and gloves, so those are easily accessible when we are running out the door. But we also created shelves that were the entire width of the closet, and we put those at the very bottom so that we could store our shoes on them, and it worked out perfectly for us. Our entryway closet is so tiny, and we also don't have a really big master closet. So shoe storage has definitely been tricky for us, but ever since making over this closet and making these shelves that are the entire width of the closet, we've had such an easier time with storing our shoes and keeping them off of the floor and out of sight in the closet where they belong. So if you're like us and you don't have a mud room or any of these big fancy Pinterest-like entryways, then this may be a solution for you. And this was pretty inexpensive. All we did was buy a couple of pieces of wood from Home Depot. My last small space organization idea today is drawer dividers. So these ones come from Ikea, they're from the Scub line, but I really like them because they help me to divide out a drawer. I use them in both of my kids' rooms. So I use them in our closet system that we built in the nursery. I use them in the baby's dresser. I use them in my older son's dresser. But these, of course, could be used in other spaces in your home. And then they also do sell other drawer dividers on Amazon that are more shallow. So if you wanted to use some for your junk drawer or in your kitchen, you could do that as well. But I just think that dividing out drawers definitely helps with organizing a small space. Mm -hmm. 